So this morning we are closing off this series on, on the gifts of the Spirit. And I just want to talk to us a little bit about being a channel of the Holy Spirit's power. But I want to encourage you to keep pressing, keep pressing, saying, God, we want to see more of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we want, uh, and you personally, press in. Uh, this morning I want us to uh, just share some insights here on flowing in the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to share with us eight simple insights very quickly on the release, on the flow of the Holy Spirit's power through you and me. Number one is that the Holy Spirit releases His power to flow out of us into others effecting a change. The Holy Spirit actually releases His power through you, me, each one of us to effect a change, to cause a miracle, to do, get some, something done in somebody's life for somebody in their situation, in their circumstance. Secondly, the Spirit of God uses the spoken word, the laying on of hands, even material substances like cloth or oil as points of contact to transmit His power. So God uses those, those things. He uses our spoken words. So your words become a carrier of the power of the Holy Spirit or touch. These are just points of contact that the Holy Spirit uses to transmit His power. And number three, the flow of the Spirit's power is recognizable to the human spirit. It may even be felt by our five senses. And this may not happen all the time, but it does happen. That when you're praying for somebody, you can sense inside you, I know something is being transmitted. Number four, the Holy Spirit releases His power in response to faith. When we have faith, we believe it causes the power of God to go into operation. God invites each one of us, and we must understand, we, when we have faith, we are positioning ourselves to really receive a manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit. Number five, the power of the Holy Spirit, of course, Results in supernatural things and signs and wonders or healings or miracles or deliverances. Whatever needs to be done, the power of the Holy Spirit makes that happen. The power of God can flow through you to cause something supernatural to happen for somebody. It's number six. The Holy Spirit can envelop an entire space with this power. The Holy Spirit's power flowing out through you can cover an entire space. His power envelops that place, that space, that area. Something, it's full, of, it's pregnant, it's full of potential. Something can happen. But the trigger there is faith. Number seven, distance is not a limiting factor in the release of the Spirit's power. So you can be sitting in Bangalore and you may hear about a friend or a family member who needs help. And you can release the words which become a carrier of the Holy Spirit's power out of you because distance is not a limiting factor for God's power. You just speak into their situation, speak into their lives, release God's power for them uh, and into their situation. The last one here is this that worship expressed through song or music brings an increased manifestation of the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to give you three things that you and I need to do here so that we can be channels. We can release the flow of the Spirit's power. Number one is that we must increase the capacity of our spirit. The next thing is this. Clear out blockages in our soul. Some of these blockages are condemnation related. Or they could be offense related. Some of these things could be self related. And the last category would be disturbances related, things like where our mind is preoccupied with other things. And the last thing, of course, is out of your position in God, release the Spirit's power by faith. So I want to encourage all of us, all of us, let's step out. Say, God, use us. When you get an opportunity, pray for people. Stretch out your hands, pray for them, minister to them. And say, God, we want to see miracles. If they have needs, release God's power into their situations uh, to see things change. Amen. Amen.